it's me, a Booger Boy Meister here. I'm not going to use my redneck voice for once. A lot of people have been sending me questions saying, Is that your real voice? You sound like a fucking idiot. So, today I said I will use my real voice. And actually, I have used my real voice in some of my videos. I used my real voice in that uh, Grand Theft Auto video when I was talking about all the GTA games. Uh, I used my real voice in that Real Me video, uh, that Resident Evil 5 video. Uh, the History of My Five Cats video, and and a bunch of other videos that I can't remember the names to because it's kind of hard to remember the names when you made like a 700 and something videos. It's a uh, it's hard to keep track of uh, all your videos, but uh, I haven't used my uh, my real voice before. But uh, everybody knows what tomorrow is. Yep, Father's Day. And uh, this will be the first year I've ever had without my dad. And I tell you, it's it's going to be hard. It still doesn't seem real that my dad's gone. It just it doesn't seem real. It's been almost a year since my dad died, and uh, I don't. I'm still not over it, really. I'm still not. There are days when I walk in his room and I almost ask him something, even though he's not there. And I'll I'll run in his room and say something stupid I read online or something somebody said to me on YouTube, and I tell him, but I can't tell him anymore. I mean, I go in there and there's a uh, there's nobody there. I'm not the only one that misses him, though. My my cat Mitty misses him. He'll he'll go in his room, just lay near his bed on the floor, and have the saddest look on his face. But uh, he knows he's gone. He really does. Well, some people say cats are stupid. Uh, cats aren't stupid. Cats know when uh when something happens. They really do. But uh, it's gonna be really sad this uh, Father's Day without my dad. It's just it's not gonna be the same. But uh, I hope he's okay wherever he is. I really miss him. It's been uh, almost a year since he died. Fourth of July is right around the corner. And it still seems like he just uh, died yesterday. I mean, I, the day he died, I could, I can tell you exactly what happened that day exactly. Because it's just in my memory, that day. I cannot forget that day. It, it just plays in my head over and over and over. It's like a nightmare. Except it's real. There's there's no way to fix it. But uh I know a lot of people ask me, why didn't you why didn't you why didn't you get an autopsy on your dad to find out how he really died? Well I didn't want my dad to be cut up on and all that. Because you know autopsy, they pretty much cut you to pieces and all that. And pull out your organs and it's a it's pretty graphic. But I don't want my dad to go through that. Nobody want my dad to go through that. My dad had six back surgeries. He was cut on enough. He didn't need to be cut on anymore. But uh, a couple of weeks before he died, he went to the heart doctor, and uh, they were talking about putting a pacemaker because uh, they said his heartbeat was kind of going out of rhythm, and he had a kind of a weird heartbeat. Doctor said, "Oh no, he'll be fine. He doesn't need a pacemaker." So they put him on some heart medicine, and then uh, a couple weeks later, he just died. And uh, you want to know the funny thing? His heart doctor refused to sign his death certificate. So it makes me wonder if the heart doctor knew more than he actually told my dad. But, uh, I don't know. It could have been could have been anything that killed him, though. He had a lot of other health issues. He he had um, back problems. He, was, he had that MARSA infection in his uh, blood that he got from his back surgery. He got an infection. He had that going on. He had to take a whole bunch of pills for that to try to get rid of the infection in him. He... He fought that infection until uh, he died. He fought that for many years. Probably about maybe five or six years. Uh, he had a lot of health issues. But uh, the day before he died, uh, we were outside hanging up the American flag for the 4th of July. And he couldn't finish hanging it up because you have to kind of like knock it into the wood outside in the, in the house and kind of like get it in the wall. He couldn't finish doing it, so I finished it, and then he said, he said, I'm not worth shit anymore. He said, I'm just not worth shit, and then he just kind of walked off, and then he went to his room, and uh, and then I came back in, and uh, I told him good night, and I uh, told him I loved him, and I uh, went to bed, and then uh, the next day I woke up, I asked him, I said, uh, you doing okay? He said, yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine, and then uh, I didn't bother him that day because I knew he was tired because he went to the doctor uh, two days in a row. And then going to the doctor really wore him out because he had a bad back and it just it wore him out. It was hard for him just to walk. 
But uh, he had such a hard time. But uh, I hope he didn't uh, overdose on pain pills or anything. When he said, uh, I'm not worth shit anymore, I, I hope he didn't go in his room and take his pain pills and take more than he was supposed to. Uh, I don't think he did, but I don't know. He was, uh, the way he sounded, he said he wasn't worth shit anymore. But uh, I hope he didn't do that. But it could have been anything that killed him. I mean... It just really surprised me, though. I mean, you lose your dad, and then you lose your grandma. I tell you, it's just all in one year. It's just wham, bam. Knocked out my whole family. And I lost my uncle in 2006. He died from a urinary tract infection that uh, got worse and uh, killed him. All the doctor had to do was give him some medicine for uh, the urinary tract infection, and uh, he would have lived. Oh, but no, the doctor sent him home, and then he got really, really sick. And then he went to the hospital and he died. He died. That asshole doctor. I didn't even get to say goodbye to my uncle. Because a damn tree fell in my neighborhood and I couldn't even get to the hospital to say goodbye to him. I didn't get to say goodbye to my dad either. I talked to him the morning before he died. But he died in, I guess, the afternoon. But They really don't even know the time of death that he died. They just put unknown but it had to have been in the afternoon because uh, I went in there and uh, cleaned out the cat box and his he was breathing he was asleep I saw his back move up and down so he was he was breathing so he wasn't dead but uh I'll probably never find out how my dad died but uh it's gonna be a sad of Father's Day I know that and I'm very sorry to hear about all these other people that have lost their loved ones, too. I've read many messages on YouTube with the people that have lost their their moms, their dads, their, their grandparents, their grandma, their granddad, cousins and uncles and all kind of family members and friends. I, I know what you're going through, and I'm, I'm very sorry to hear what you what happened to you. But uh, hopefully everything will get better for everybody. Well, uh, I'll see you all later. Happy Father's Day. Bye-bye.